here's an update on my garden, you guys. And I want you to look at those zinnias. How pretty are those? They just make me so happy. And then I have really been struggling with all these cherry tomato plants, y'all. They have fell over. I have tied them with twine. I've tied them with bungee cord. I've got stakes in there. I've got them tied to the fence. It has been a challenge. And they were all tangled up together. So I had to do a lot of pruning, which they still were falling over and breaking and everything else. But I have a ton of tomatoes, and I've done been picking them. Um, there's some red ones down there ready. And then over here is the blueberries, tomatoes. I have some really big ones down there. And those are Brad's Atomic. And let's see, over here I have some red pear tomatoes. There's a bunch in there. I still have to trim off some of this dead on the bottom here. But after pulling weeds and tying stuff up, my back is killing me. That can wait. But yeah, that's what's going on with all those cherry tomato plants. They're about above the fence. Um, I've got them strung up straight where they were falling over. So those hopefully will fill out a little bit more. So that is that section right there. And then when we go over here, this is what this is looking like. So I've been struggling with blight and um, leaf spot. And I have already went through a whole bottle of Captain Jack's. And I have been out here pruning every day. So I've had to pretty much take off most of the bottom of these plants. And as you can see, there's still some that's looking really rough in there um, but it was a lot that I had to take out and the tops are really lush really healthy if I can just keep it controlled at the bottom I have to get another bottle of um, Captain Jack's but it did help a whole lot as you can see I have hundreds of San Marzano's um, and that is nine plants I believe so I have tons of those as long as I can keep these trimmed up and keep the top healthy I should have a full harvest after this one so I have some beef steak tomatoes in here that are not ripe yet but I do have some on there and then on this side I had to do the same thing so the bottoms of these plants look very thin because I have had to um, trim off that that blight like daily and I've got a lot of tomatoes coming on um, that one doesn't look too good it's got a split in it uh, but there is some more there and some over here so I will get some um, off of this row, but like I said, the San Marzanos are going to be um, my biggest crop, I think. And then if I go on this back side, they just look so bare where I've had to give them haircuts. But I do have tomatoes. So we shall see what we get. Like I said, I'm just going to have to keep up with um, spraying. Uh, the tops are the same as the San Marzano's. Very lush, very green, healthy. I've just got to keep on top of it. You can't just walk away and expect everything to grow healthy. 
And then on this back row, I have more weeds I need to pull. This is where I stopped. Um, that grass has just grown everywhere. Um, but I do have a couple of volunteers that I noticed when I started pulling some weeds back here. So I don't know what tomato plant variety that is, but there is two. So I will keep those and see if we can't get something off of those. There's a sunflower that is a volunteer. And then now I'm going to go over to the peppers. Here is my row of peppers. Two rows actually. And in the weeds right here, there is a volunteer, which I believe is probably a cayenne pepper, chili pepper. Um, so I need to get these weeds out of here as well. And then these are three that I just planted out of a pot that I had um, of extra seedlings. Um, and I don't know if they're bell peppers or um, chili peppers uh, because they were just all in there together. So we will see. Surprises are always good. But these are all doing really good. Um, the habaneros are starting to get the first bloom. Um, they're really healthy. And then I have a pepper here. It is purple. It is a bell mix. And then there is some more. Those are very pretty. Those are going to look good in a stir fry. And then here are my yellow bell mix. And I'm trying to get in there so you can see. Maybe I need to go on this side. They are growing upside down, y'all. I don't understand that. They're growing very well. But they're growing upside down. So I'm not sure what's up with that. But I'm going to go ahead and pick these. And also those. So they don't get any damage from bugs and so it will open up room to produce more there's some more blooms coming on so i want to go ahead and pick these um and then also i have some serranos that are ready to be picked as well so i don't have any tomatoes yet that are ripe but from the size of these, I will probably be picking almost all of these close to the same time. So with all the rain comes all the weeds. Y'all, I hand pulled every bit of this. It was growing up through the ground cover. Um, it's mostly that crabgrass. And I have more. There's a pile there. And there's a pile there. Yeah, so hand pulling. Not fun. Okay, in the outside corner of the garden, I have my marigold plants, which are doing really good. They have not bloomed yet, but they're getting ready to. And then my autumn beauty. sunflowers they are absolutely gorgeous On this side of the fence, I am still kind of working on, but we have our zinnias, sunflowers, 
marigolds. Everything's doing really good. And then also some more tomato starts that I had left over. So I just stuck in there. And I have another bag of mulch I need to put in here. But it's all the way up front and I haven't had time to go get it yet. Bachelor buttons are starting to die out a little, but they will continue to grow um, as long as you deadhead. So I'm letting a lot of these go to seed. There's a few that's ready. And I do save all of my seeds. These are actually from last year's seeds. I don't ever buy flowers. Those are Coreopsis that I just had in a pot that was on the deck. So I moved it over here. There's more marigold and zinnia. Bachelor button. Nasturtiums. And all kinds of wildflowers along the fence. And then right here, that leaf looks really bad, but check this out, y'all. Mammoth sunflower. And based on the, side, the height of my fence, which is eight foot, I'm going to guesstimate that that's probably about 12 or 13 foot. And I have a few in the front that I will be showing you as well that may be even taller than that. Turn it back up and let you guys see how big this thing is. This thing's a monster. So yeah, that's what all that looks like and I'm still adding more stuff I still have seedlings I've started more seeds so I'll probably be adding stuff as things start to die off and this will stay pretty full so that's an update on the garden so I think it's time to go ahead and pull these taters they were good and lush, and now they're falling over and dying out. So I'm hoping we got something in here. Well, here's the first one. I think we might have some taters in here, y'all. I'm going to have to use two hands to do this. Well, that's kind of disappointing, y'all. We got some little babies. Some new potatoes. And I'm going to replant all of these. So, at least I got a little bit, um and didn't try too hard to grow potatoes in this bucket um, so I did get a little bit and now I'm going to pick some of these green beans that are ready and I can at least make me a little bag of mixed vegetables to put away and see if we can't get some more taters to grow out here guys but I have got to show you this talk about a hot mess yes that is the one pumpkin seed that I planted in a bucket over the winter and planted out here hoping it would just creep over into the field which it's doing but look at this y'all it is taken over this entire area um, I just pulled the cucumber plant up 
off the ground. I've got to get in here and pull these weeds and fix my cucumber plants. Um, the pumpkin is taking over everything. It's on this side, it's on the back, it's all over the bottom, the top, the field, and even coming out through the front. There is pumpkins up at the top. There's some on the side. I've seen about five white pumpkins. So, I've never grown pumpkin before, and I was not expecting it to get this crazy by just having one plant. That's all it takes. One seed, y'all. I started in December. Um, back there in the corner is a cherry tomato plant that was extra in a pot, and it's all the way to the top. I haven't done anything to this area except for just water it. There's a zinnia back there that's a volunteer. Um, and I don't even know what else is going on in here. So I'm going to have to get out here and do some work. But that's an update. And there's another volunteer sunflower. Very, very tall. And here's one that broke. I'm going to put it in a vase. Just thought I'd give you an update on this part. There's a pumpkin right there. This is a lot of leaves. You can tell I've never grown pumpkin before. I was not prepared for this. There's one back there. There's two. Like, what do you do when pumpkins are growing on top of a fence? Like, aren't they going to be too heavy? <laughs> I have no clue. But, y'all... This was one seed. I got some weeds I gotta get out of here. These are my cucumber plants. And this pumpkin plant is trying to smother it out. And I'm not gonna let that happen. So I've gotta get this all tied up. Well, this is a hot mess. I'm going to bring y'all back. Lots of pinto beans. I'm letting them dry. And y'all, this is store-bought pinto beans. Just threw some in some soil, and I'm seeing how well they do. And I will be doing a much bigger crop of them if they turn out good so yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and let those dry and then tomorrow hopefully I can get out here and finally pull all this broccoli it's gonna start going to seed here soon but this one is growing another head so I was giving it a chance of course I'm gonna go ahead and probably take out the whole thing my lettuce is all going to seed so I'll be tearing out all of this hopefully tomorrow um, I've been wanting to start some other stuff in here I just haven't had time to get out here and pull this stuff and also waiting on this stuff to go to seed um, so that's an update over here in the herb garden Okay, hey y'all, so now I'm in the front of the house and I wanted to show you how awful this bed is. Um, this is the bed that I'm going to be working on in the next week or so. Um, it has been neglected severely. Um, we had all that rain, so all these weeds. This is the bed that I did last year 
and was full of mums and pansies and they have died out um, I do have a mum back there they're still in here they just died out and then I have a lot of these weeds growing this is okra back here which would do much better if I would weed this area but this is just an area that I've just not really paid attention to but I am going to get it cleaned up um, I have nasturtiums that came back from last year which I wasn't um, relying on them to come back I actually I saved seeds and um, didn't plant anymore because I seen that these were coming back so there's a lot of nasturtium in there but I have these sunflowers do you see the stalks on these how big and these are volunteers that popped up from the soil because I had moved some of the soil from the sunflower bed last year over here but I'm gonna flip my camera around so you guys can see how tall sunflowers are almost touching the power line and I did measure it was very hard to hold the measuring tape and record um, but they are 12 to 13 feet um, the tallest one is almost 13 feet so those are volunteers and there's one there so yeah that's an update on that bed that I'll be working on and hopefully get y'all a video soon showing what it's gonna look like um, and then over here as well this bed was another one that I did last year and it is nothing but weeds now um, there is morning glory in there and I have a hosta in there which is buried by the weeds so these two areas I'll be working on remulching and gonna probably put some of my fall uh, brassicas in this bed over here um, I may do like my broccoli and stuff since this bed's pretty big but I just need to get in here and clean this up first so that is an update on the two beds that I have up front Well guys, my roses are starting to come back. It's looking really pretty. Those are knockout roses. And there's also a volunteer sunflower in here. I don't know where it come from, but it's so cute. It's got a little bloom on it. Very tall stem. But it's very pretty. Well, guys, I have a lot of work to do, so I'm going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And hit the notification bell. I will be having lots of videos coming up soon. Have a blessed day.